Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about how AMC can already be $1,000 per share. The 2 million shares bought today, wiping up Citadel and many more in this video. First, we take a look at this. Fun fact, the five day drop in Nvidia market cap amounts to $1,050 per AMC share. Might have something to do with that. Someone has less than 52 cards in their deck. That is someone sure a few cards as they simply can't get hold of no matter how hard they try. So one of the biggest things we talked about in terms of understanding how AMC is getting suppressed is obviously understanding that they took collaterals in NVIDIA positions. And so with NVIDIA rising, they obviously had access to more money in which they can suppress AMC. Now, when we see NVIDIA drop, what it will mean is that the collaterals for these firms are also dropping, meaning they will have less money to suppress AMC and meaning that amount of money is likely to be transferred to one location, in this case for AMC and GME as well. Because some of the things to be looking out for and definitely exciting for next week is Roaring Kitty has made a return. So you can see he actually posted this tweet is a clip or rather a screen capture of a scene from Toy Story and it's got this emoji. Now, the last time he tweeted was talking about uh, was this emoji as well and this was of course about his chewy investment you can see he gave the dog red eyes does he see a drop in chewy coming for those of you who are aware one of the famous scenes in this um picture right now is saying that i'm done playing with you and in this case it's obviously with chewy therefore people are assuming that roaring kitty has actually sold his chewy shares and is expecting chewy to actually drop in price now coincidentally before he made this tweet something you can see interesting before this tweet went out someone put two million dollars on gme and what's even more interesting you guys can see here dfv 5000 share blocks exercising where we're seeing just blocks of 5000 um, shares being bought that we are seeing right here now something that for those of you guys know the previous time when he bought in as well we saw this same thing come through it was blocks of 5000 and we're seeing the same thing right now so could it be that roaring kitty has actually took his money away from his true investment and now pull it on and add it onto his existing positions in gme now if that were to be the case obviously what we are expecting is for both gme and amc to go up especially understanding we're at a time where these collaterals for short sellers are going down meaning they have less power to actually suppress amc and gme now more about why we can already be seeing $1,000 per share for AMC is taking a look at some of the stuff that's happened before. You can see here, AMC is not a glitch because all the other times and dates and prices are correct. This is a leak of the criminals failing to hide the true price of AMC that day. This will wipe out Citadel. So multiple factors to be looking at here. First, you guys can see this screenshot where we see AMC actually at $4,075 per share. Now, this is actually on the 30 minute time frame. So he then further explains this because what he showed is the difference. So this is 30 minute time frame where you can see AMC at 4,000 and you can see some of the historical prices in the past were all showcased correctly as well. June 2nd, 2021 at the correct price and January 27th, 2021 AMC is showing at the correct price. So what it's saying is that everything else is correct, yet we saw this glimpse of $4,075 for AMC. Now, we've already known that AMC should be a way higher price and we definitely know that amc is being suppressed so is four thousand dollars the right price well like we talked about this can be easily reached the fact with how nvidia has dropped in five days equates to one thousand and fifty dollars per share you guys can understand how easily it is to also get to four thousand dollars per share as well for amc and this is obviously with proof that we are seeing here now furthermore in terms of talking about wiping out citadel so what you can understand from here right now is going back to where we started with with this nvidia post is we've shown in the past citadel actually uses nvidia as collaterals and it's actually one of the biggest um, allocations of collaterals meaning they use a big part of the nvidia assets as collaterals so we definitely see something that is affecting as we see nvidia dropping in price it means that not only do we see the collaterals for the overall short sellers go down we know that citadel one of the biggest short sellers of amc is also seeing their collaterals being 
being taken away. And that itself, it's important. And it's understand why we can see AMC go up to 1,000, why we can see AMC go up to 4,000, and more importantly, why we can see Citadel to obviously be wiped out by what is happening. Furthermore, you can see everything AMC Shorts can say and do has been said and done. Years of smokes and mirror, all in vain. All is now in the open for anyone who cares to look. It's about time. Maybe the real lessons learned is to keep one's morale, uh, moral compasses in shape, a winning concept. Like we said, everything they've been doing, wherever it is with collaterals, wherever it is with FDDs, wherever it is with synthetics, wherever it is with tokens, they have been doing these things. But it has come to a time where all the money they've spent onto this is starting to dry out. Everything they've done is all in vain because the people they thought were going to leave AMC one year ago, two years ago, three years ago are still in this play. We have been here from 2021. We're still here in 2024. And so they believe that everyone was going to leave, yet no one has, of course, left. And that's what they're scared of. And it's come to a time where with everything in the market falling, with all these concerns about the next recession, about the next market crash, about the illiquidity in the market, they are running out of money and if they're running out of money they're running out of ways to suppress amc and that's why they're doing all these desperate attempts they can do now to make sure that people are scared of amc to try and make people sell and leave amc shares again all in vain because we know exactly what is going on as always none of this ever financial advisor do take our second and so make sure do your own due diligence and research now, furthermore, what we can see something that's also interesting is actually the correlation between AMC and Cinema. So if you guys take a look right now, AMC was up 5.29%. But yet, when we take a look at here, Cinemark was down 1.71. Interestingly, you can also take a look at the after hours. For the after hours, Cinemark up 2.35, and the AMC was down 2.61. So this is obviously a very interesting factor because we've always talked about these institutions who want to invest in the movie industries have obviously put their ownership into Cinemark, hence why we can see 120% institutional ownership for Cinemark. It doesn't mean they don't want to invest in AMC, but the reason why they don't invest in AMC is firstly, they know that there are tons of short sellers out there who, again, they probably are one themselves. Secondly, the lack of real shares for AMC. And thirdly, and possibly the most important reason of all, they don't want retail to profit from this. They want to make sure that the institutional ownership is at least 70% and that the retail ownership is somewhere between 10 and 30%. But when you have a stock that's owned by retail with over 90%, ownership they obviously don't want retails to make money and so you can see shorts using some sort of trading pair because you can see the correlation wherever it's from during market hours or once down once up or after hours where amc is down and cinema is up and so these are obvious things that we are catching on and again they want to suppress amc and bring cinema down uh, bring cinema up because they want to incentivize people to sell their AMC shares and buy into cinema and that's the kind of the narrative they want to give again this is something that we've seen them do in the past now like we said this is something that we've been doing for the past few videos where we like this tweet from Adam Aaron and to see if it's getting removed so that we know if there's suppression going on so far nothing has happened it has been three days for those of you who's also done the same comment down below is your like getting removed and if so have you liked any other posts is it getting removed as well and if you haven't done it feel free to also try it out for yourself so more on to what we talked about with citadel so we just talked about how obviously citadel can be wiped out because of amc shares being at least four thousand dollars and you can see here citadel derivatives over the years 2019 219 billion 2020 309 billion going up to 2023 where we're seeing it sitting at 682 billion dollars so this is obviously a crazy amount and you can see samuel goes on to further to say 682 billion dollars in derivative exposure for the dow this makes me think of derivatives tokens and crypto offsetting those derivatives so it's understanding how much exposure they have and how big of exposure it is at the end of the day and what we've talked about with this is understanding that they obviously use what we talked about in the past before, wherever it's collaterals, wherever it's tokens and cryptos, to obviously offset these derivatives. But understand this, when it becomes, the situation becomes too bad, all these derivative exposure that they have won't be offset anymore. They'll come to a point where they can't offset these derivatives. 
and that's obviously when we'll see everything explode and this is why we talked about with how we can see it with nvidia falling how amc can go to 1000 with how we've seen how they hide amc at four thousand dollars because of this whole situation because of how much exposure they already have and will have in the future and again one of the biggest questions to be asking here is why is it that the exposure is going up you know we see it at if for example 2021 at 442 now going to 2023 and this is talk about 2023 as well we're seeing 240 billion in added derivative exposure is it because of their positions in amc and gme anyway guys thanks for watching the video i'll catch you guys next time